guys, welcome to the future, AKA Los Angeles, where you can jump on an electric scooter legally and get about town without having to worry about getting yourself a hefty fine. Now we are here to soak up the e-mobility culture and get to grips with an electric scooter that I believe to be the cornerstone of what a street legal electric scooter should be. Say hello to Tor. The exciting thing for us at Tor is that we're building a product that we think actually provides not just like an alternative, but kind of like a new default. Our government have been slow to act due to the safety concerns around electric scooters on our roads, but Tor is a company that are here to basically iron out all those woes with their electric scooter. So we've come here to check it out and also to meet our brand new US presenter, Tyler. Hello, folks. <laughs> And actually, we did a video with Tyler just the other day, just introducing who he is, what he does, and you can check it out right here. Click that link. But let's get back to Tor, where the best and brightest are engineering new safety solutions for the scooter industry. Their patented tech and high quality design is definitely something to take notice of. Well, I think we should take a closer look at this thing, shouldn't we? Shall we? I mean, I have been waiting a long time to see this scooter. I've known about Tor for a good few years now, and finally, finally, I get to touch the metal. It's so exciting. And what a phenomenal place to showcase this phenomenal design. To really see this scooter in the flesh is fantastic. I mean, just look at these sexy lines. Hello, sexy. It's a really, really good looking scooter. I mean, I've, I spoke to Carson earlier about the fact that this is not just an e-ride, it is certainly something that's going to be an extension of your identity and you want to look good when you're riding about town and I certainly would be jumping on this to get out and about. But should we talk a bit more about the features? Let's dive in. So bearing in mind this scooter is being launched in America, it is in regulation with US law. So this hits 25 miles per hour and it's got a lovely, lightweight, powerful motor, 500 watts to be precise, isn't it, Tyler? In addition to that motor, it also boasts safety features such as a bright headlight, brake light, and the brake system itself is a mix of regenerative braking in the front and hydraulic brake in the back. Yeah, I mean, that lighting uh, setup is so, so crucial. I mean, we bang on about safety at Electroheads. It's something that's really, really important to us. You need to make sure that you are being seen on the roads for extra, extra safety when you're getting about town. And this has a particularly cool light up setting when the rider is on the scooter at night, you can switch a button and the rider is actually illuminated on the roads. It's something that you guys need to check out. It's wicked. Also, let's go have a quick look at tires. So you'll see here that these are a bit larger than a lot of the other scooters that you get out on the roads currently. These are 12.5 inch from Continental Fantastic tire company. There's a reason why Tor went with these scooters because they are probably the best out there, arguably, and also puncture resistant as well. Very, very important. They're also pneumatic to increase the comfort of your ride and the Kevlar puncture resistant technology allows you to ride over the roughest, toughest of terrains. But most importantly, I don't know if you've noticed already, fold out platforms right here so that you can have a wider stance when you're riding this scooter which again huge hugely impacts firstly the feel of the ride and also how safe the rider is when they're taking corners it's super important absolutely in addition to safety it really allows you to lean into those turns you know on something more akin to like let's say a motorcycle that's going to increase the safety and visibility during your ride as well and another awesome design feature to the scooter is the five-way thumb joystick which means that you can control uh the lights uh the horn cruise control the performance with the with the power levels as well just at the little switch of this button right here It's so great to be up close and personal with this thing. Finally, but unfortunately, this is as far as it gets for me. I'm currently injured, which means I can't ride scooters, bikes at the moment. So that means Tyler is gonna be our, uh, our stuntman for the day. Ilish, I'm so sorry that you're not able to ride this, but I am so stoked to take this thing up and down the strand and really rip through these corners. I'll see you guys on the other side. See you later, I guess. Okay. Let me know how it is. Yeah, perfect. I'll, I'll meet you down there. All right.
Whilst Tyler goes up and carves up the coast, I hit up Carson, the co-founder of Tor, an absolute don of cutting edge e-scooter tech, who's had to battle against all the odds to get here. All right, well, Carson, thanks so much for joining me. Thank you. First of all, I just want to know, from Tor's journey from UK to LA, obviously you started in the UK. Yeah government were making things a little bit tricky for you. Can you just tell me about your journey from, from there to here? When we started the company, we were super excited about the prospect of own scooters. And this was even before rentals had landed in the UK at all. We spoke with like TFL and other people in the government and were like, by the way, there's going to be these, these shared scooter things. Maybe you want to speak to us or we'll let you know like what you're likely to see because we had spoken to a lot of people out in the States and, and done some work out there as well. A bit further on, we started building product and around the same time that the rentals arrived and they, they built the scheme. And um, we were contributing to the consultation, hoping that own scooters would be pushed forward as well. And unfortunately, that's not happened as fast as I say, like we or I think anyone would like. And can you just tell me quickly why the whole rental scheme sphere is actually just actually not as good as what we thought it might have been at first? It's very difficult for a rental company to provide the kind of usability that I think changes behavior. The exciting thing for us at Tor is that we're building a product that we think actually provides not just like an alternative, but kind of like a new default. We're talking about a big shift, right? So. I'm not going to sit here and act like there aren't people riding in London. There are loads. But fundamentally, there are a lot of people who would if the law wasn't the way it is. When you reach a certain volume of that activity, it becomes something that you don't question. You just go, well, loads of people are doing that. It seems like they're loving it. I'm going to do it too. People look forward to owning their first car. They look forward to the freedom that, it, that you receive from being able to get places on your own. Scooters and bikes don't really have that yet or not as much as other forms of transport. So I think like building it to the level that not only is it like such a great experience, but actually like the product and how you feel with it as an extension of yourself is like so compelling that it's something that people like talk about in an aspirational way is like a kind of like a North Star for us as a company. And that, and that might seem like a bit out there, but I think it's, I think it's a pretty simple goal. Wow! Oh my god, this is unreal. This riding position is really wild. Uh, you know, I can honestly say I have not experienced riding a scooter this way ever, not in my life, or any any other uh, EV to be fair. I mean, I think the closest I can think of would be maybe an EUC, but even then, that's a bit dodgy to ride, you know, as you're leaning backwards and forwards. So let's accelerate here, build some speed. Oh yeah! Oh, she comes on strong. Uh -huh. So an interesting note about the throttle on this scooter, it actually has a 60 millisecond delay when you let off. And at first I thought this was a mistake, but it turns out it's an important design feature in the way that this throttle works. So the engineers at Tor were working to emulate the way that a bicycle continues to coast when you let off the throttle or, or the pedals in that case. And it really does allow you to coast when you take your hand off. See, I'm still coasting. Other vehicles, Will, it will turn the regenerative braking on so strong that it's almost like a kick right in the... Hacker! My next initial impression has to be these 12.5 inch Conti tires as they truly soak up every imperfection in the road surface. And how about the handling? Let's talk about that. So the lightweight aircraft aluminum frame, I think is an awesome touch for this scooter. It's got great flickability. I really feel like the CG is in the right spot, riding position, so the handlebars, I feel like they're at a, gr a good height. I'm, just for reference, I'm six foot, and I feel very comfortable riding on this scooter. I don't feel like I have to bend over, and I feel like it fits for a range of people as well that they've spec'd this out for. And I'm not afraid to take it anywhere with these Kevlar puncture-resistant tires. I feel like I could take this thing anywhere. And I really want you guys to notice how quiet the scooter is, okay? There's next to no road noise whatsoever. And next, let's talk about the brakes on this scooter. So the regenerative braking from the front electric motor is seamlessly integrated with the rear hydraulic disc brake, and it is very smooth. In fact, let's try it out. Oh yeah, very smooth to operate. He's a smooth operator. And to my next point, let's talk steering stem slop. So with a folding scooter, Occasionally, you'll feel a little bit of play right here where the folding mechanism lies in the frame. And now with this scooter, let's do the steering stem slop test. And when I shake it side to side, there's next to no play, very tight. And speaking of the folding mechanism, let me show you how neat this design by Tor really is. You're gonna fold the feet deck up, 
There's a single little lever here that you're gonna rotate, twist all the way there, and then you're just gonna kinda give it a little love push, a little love push. Voila, you have folded. Folded, is that even a word? What's going on with you? What are you talking about? Also has a secondary stand right here that keeps it balanced and keeps your paint from getting scratched when it's in the folded position. Another awesome little feature of this scooter is the ability to set it up right to vertically stand it. And what do you think? I mean, that is a great furniture piece right there. Look at that. And while we're on the subject of stands, let's go ahead and show you the main stand for this scooter. So we're back down in folded position on the secondary stand. We're gonna go ahead and push the fender back to release the spring lock, fold the stem up, and we're just gonna rotate this uh, little lever lock there, fold the feet deck back down. And now for the most glorious moment that you've all clearly been waiting for is us putting the scooter on its main stand. No, really, I love this stand. It's, it really harkens back to the days of motorcycle riding and being able to pop it on the center stand, just like that. I can't believe it's not a kickstand. <laughs> Another point I really wanna drive home to you guys is just how rigid this frame feels. So Tor really struck a balance between design and structural rigidity. I mean, this frame just feels like it could support all of my weight and more. Very durable, this aircraft grade aluminum. And it's also lightweight. It only weighs 15 and a half kilos or 34 pounds for my American friends. Freedom units, woo! What the bloody hell was that all about? Something I'd love to convey to the viewers is just how larger than life this scooter actually is versus the pictures that you see of it online. The frame really has this girth to it right here that you just don't you just don't understand from seeing the pictures of this scooter. Now, we can't live in a perfect world, and one thing that I'm not too keen on is this LED display, which is a little difficult to see in full sun. And the display shows your state of charge information, and there's an LED ring bar that displays the battery status. So I think that Tor has a little bit of work to do in this department, and I hope that they address this in future iterations of the scooter. You know what, Cole? I think it's time that we take this scooter out on the main roads for a practical road test and find out how it handles in everyday scenarios. Oh, you throw the line at me! I just finished up the test ride. I've now been instilled with enough confidence from the tour to challenge you and your fancy Volkswagen to a race straight to the Santa Monica Pier. I haven't been to the Santa Monica Pier, so uh, bring it on. Losers buying the other ice cream, though. All right, okay. I mean, let's be honest. I think I know who's gonna win this one, but I love a challenge, so let's do it. Three, two, one, go! Oh my goodness! And we're off! God damn it, I need to win this. You know what, guys? I'll, I'll be real with you. We've got plenty of time, okay? There's no way Ayla's just gonna beat me. How do I get out? Why is she not, hello? Am I being an idiot? How do I get out of the car park? Am I being an idiot? One sec. East, down, and bound, baby. We're actually, we're going north, but. Oh my God, so this isn't even an exit. It says exit, and I can't even get out of here. This is so bad. We are in full send mode, folks. There's no way in hell I'm buying Ailish ice cream. Okay, second exit, second attempt. Here's the exit. Okay, stop sign already, fantastic. A scooter on a dedicated path for micro mobility and the like. And then me, a great hunking big car. It's not really fair, is it? Around the relaxed pedestrians and bicyclists. Oh, flying through these sweeping sandy corners. I'm traveling at 30 miles per hour right now. Tyler is maxing out at what? 24, 25? Okay, I'm starting to feel confident. Yeah, I wonder what Ailish is up to right now. Now I know what she's doing. She's sitting at a stoplight somewhere. I'm traveling way faster. Oh my gosh, and the traffic light's just turned green again. This is fantastic. Oh, okay. No, coming to a stop. Come on, go, go, go! We're doing a race right now. Hurry up! What is this 15 miles per hour? Dodge some Venice Beach pedestrians here. Gonna get in a crouched, tucked position for increased aerodynamics here. All right, less drag equals higher speed and free ice cream. You know, maybe I'll, I'll maybe I'll ask her to get as many scoops as there are likes on this video, okay? I'm gonna need a scoop of ice cream per like, guys. Go ahead and hit like. Hit that like button. Smash that like button. Come on, come on, come on. Why is everybody going so 
flipping slow. We've got quite a way to go still. Five minutes until arrival. I mean, I must, I must have caught up on Tyler, surely. <laughs> oh my God, I've just hit serious traffic. What? It's the final countdown. Santa Monica's right up ahead. Guys, we are almost there. You've been along for the ride this far. Join me as we take the finish line. I feel like I'm so close, but so far. I get my power stance in. Is this parking? Is this parking? All right, I'd say we're about uh, 200 barley corns away from the pier here. Yes, barley corns, that is a unit of distance for those of you who are wondering. I think the Brits use it. What the bloody hell was that all about? 247 available spaces. Oh, thank you. All right, almost there, almost there. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, wait. Okay, so right here, this is it. The hollowed ground that is our finish line. Let's do our fold. We know how to do this. We did this earlier. Plates up. Let's walk it up the stairs. The button, get a ticket. Yes, 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 yes. Go, 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 go. Where's, where's Ayla? Quick, 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 quick. Where is her? Do you see her? Because I don't. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. All right, we're almost to the end of the pier here. Let's go. Let's go, let's go guys, let's go. Let's cool, I'm thinking at this point we could have gotten dinner. We could have had a sit down, a nice dinner. Well, well, well. Oh, Look who decided to join us. So hold on, how long, how long are you waiting for me here for? Oh, about 10 minutes. 10 minutes? A whole extra 10 minutes? Yes. Oh, damn. Well, I mean, it just goes, it, it proves the point, really, doesn't it? Absolutely makes a statement. The quickest way to get to the Santa Monica Pier or around LA in general is via scooter. Don't get a car, guys. Get a scooter. Anyway, seeing as the sun is setting, should we wrap it up here, Tyler? I think so. Right. I think we should uh, go get some ice cream, and I know who's buying. It's on me. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, because we've got way more content coming your way every single week. And that's all, folks. Bye. Stay tuned.